don't resist change, change happens. Even in your organization, whenever you bring in a new product or something you're thinking about or a change in organization, people don't like change. You need to always look at where the opportunity is, where the business, because there is going to be an opportunity in every problem. Embrace change and look at the opportunity in the change. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're reaching us from. This is Anthony Jiroge Jenga, and this is Business Debut. And remember, the purpose of this program is one, to be able to, to, to train you and teach you so that you can be able to increase your revenues, make a lot of money, and then impact the community positively. And today, you know, in this season, we are discussing, the topic for today is change. And... Uh, Nobody likes change. Change is one, one of the things that we say is permanent. Uh, you know, like uh, just like a, a few, a few, is it not even a few? Uh, in the last one year or so, uh, the world went through some serious change. Why? Because there was, there was an issue of uh, coronavirus. And what happened is that uh, we were all were taken back to being in the homes and we were told to keep social distance and all that. And what happened? Businesses were affected. Some businesses closed, other things happened. And you realize, um, now, just when we are coming out of the coronavirus issues, something else hits the world. The fight of, of uh, Russia and Ukraine, or Russia invading Ukraine. How does that affect you as a business and, and as a community? It does affect us a lot because we know that uh, Ukraine is one of the biggest producers of oil in the, in the world. Sunflower and a lot of other things and even uh, um, uh, very many minerals. Russia is also... Uh, a, a company, uh, a country that also produces a lot of uh, oil and stuff. And it's affecting the world and also the restriction of, of uh, Russia. The world is uh, setting um, um, embargo in, in Russia. So there are people who have been affected and businesses have been affected. So one of the things you need to know as a business owner and, uh, and you need to know is that change is inevitable. It will going to be one way or the other and it's going to hit you. So one of the things you must have as a business owner one is to be able to know that change will happen and then what do you do with that change do you ride on the change or do you find do you want the change to come and affect and hit you so a lot of and this has happened all over the world you know like um, a, a, a casing point is just like a few months ago and i run a i run a courier business and we we, we deal a lot with the uh, uh, riders and uh, boda boda guys who come who come on our platform because of delivery suddenly uh, one lady a lady was affected because some Boda Boda riders harassed her. What happened, the president made a, 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 a decree that all the riders or the Boda Boda community have to register. Boof, that hits our industry. And now you are caught, caught between a rock and a hard place. Why? Because we depend on these people for delivery. And now uh, the policemen were harassing all the people who are on motorbikes. There was one decree that was said nobody should enter the city center. That's one. Now, all the Buddha Buddha raiders have to be able to register their, their, they have to have a certificate of good conduct, they have to have uh, a license, they have to have an insurance cover, and all that. Now, with that impact, it affected our industry. So for one week, we couldn't even get raiders because the raiders were, were scared of coming out because they come out, the policemen were not considering whether you are you're employed by a courier company or you're running your own business. They just take you and take you in. When you're taken in, uh, they were charging up to 35000 for a, a, a motorbike rider. Imagine a poor man, a rider who's woken up in the morning and he's put in, he put in and he has to pay 35000 for him to come out. Can you imagine that change, that, that impact? It impacts his family, impacts his, uh, his community, and then he's, he's crippled because he can't run a business. But the, 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 the moral of this story is that uh, change happens. Then how do you position yourself in such a situation? It's hard. Now, even in your organization, uh, what happens and, uh, is that whenever you bring in a new product or something you're thinking about or a change in organization, people don't like change. People, people, people do what? People, people resist change. And, um, and you, 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 if just like I go back to the issue of, 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 of Buddha Buddha, what happened? There were riots that came, came on, people started rioting. Uh, politicians came in and said, uh, uh, the opposition was now accusing the government of, uh, of, uh, of being unfair to the common one, which is true. And all that causes resistance. So uh, when there's resistance, some people get anxious. 
Now, in the organization, that will happen a lot. Uh, uh, now, let me just go back to the issue of Boda Boda. People get anxious. When you get anxious, what happens? They resist that change. This is what you want. We can't do this because it's, uh, it's not good for us. So some people, uh, like, like I tell you, one of, one of, our, one, one of the riders, who, uh, some of our riders, didn't come to work. They said, no, it's, these guys are going to arrest us. And they've said, we want this. We don't come to work. So what happens? The business is affected. There are those who were, were and, and that happens for a season. Then you realize that, oh, okay, this thing is not going to change. So I'm going to stay home and uh, I'm not going to bring my bike out. What will happen? I won't eat because that's my source of revenue. So you come to the organization. So there are those who say now, I have to go home and leave this story of Boda Boda because it's very risky. I, and those are people who we say are, uh, uh, will be in denial and they refuse. And those who now say, take the risk and come on and start working and start complying. And that's what happens. So when, when change comes, one, there are people who, who get, the first stage of change is you get anxious. Yeah, you get anxious about the situation. Two, you, you, you fear the consequences of what will happen because there are consequences. Uh, for one week, uh, people on social media started making noise all oh, to the government. We can't deliver our goods because uh, life in, in our country now has changed. People are working because of COVID. People are now working from home more. So the, 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 the delivery system has become part of our life. Hence, the community needs, uh, while the Buddha Buddha could have issues, but uh, the community needs riders to be able to deliver their products. Global, uh, locally. Uh, people like Jumia need depend on border border people. People like us, uh, delivery people, we depend on deliveries. Our companies that we work for depend on delivery people. So uh, we have a lot of online shops that are now running. So you can't now say we have to remove, uh, pluck out the border borders in our, in, our, in our environment, yet it's part of our life. So people made a lot of noise with government. What happened? Politicians made a lot of noise. The government has did what they retreated back and said no, it's okay. Let these guys uh, let's stop the crackdown on these guys. Let them come back. However, even if they say that, that is what the top said. Now, because of the bureaucracy in in, in our in our country, um, uh, the police are not going to hear that. Even if when Matiangi said uh, that things have to be so stopped, the 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 police were still harassing the border border guys and still it's still happening. So what has happened? There are things that the government has said will happen. And whether you want it or not, they will have to be put in place. Now, the government has set up a committee that was going to be able to help this transition. Now, what happens in such a situation? You are caught up in between the rock and the hard place. Of course, now that transition affects us. Now, as a business owner, where is the opportunity? Begs the question. So for us, what we did, we retreated back and said, okay, fine. So government doesn't want riders on the platform. Uh, they have to ask for a certificate of good conduct. They want to do this. Let's get our riders getting that. Now, we, once we enter town, like one of my riders entered town and was arrested. He had to go to the cop station and pay for the fine. So we try, retreat back and say, okay, so what's the strategy? The government doesn't want riders. What do we do? We get cyclists. Now we put up an advertisement and saying, now let's work with cyclists because the government don't want riders. What do you do? You put cyclists. What's the value of working with cyclists? One, cyclists don't use fuel. Cyclists will not pay uh, a branding to, to government or the city council. Um, they will not pay the, 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 monthly, the monthly charge for, for to, uh, towing charges, uh, no, no, uh, the, the, the parking charges that we pay on a, on a, on a, monthly, on a monthly basis to the council. So... There's a problem, hence presents an opportunity. Now, even when the situation was the way it was, um, you look at the data that you realize there are about 2.6 million Buddha Buddha riders in our country. What does that mean? That means there's crazy revenue running around this country. That means those guys were running or wrecking business up to a, a billion or two or three in a month. So you look at that data and see of how do I take advantage of this opportunity? Because now that data has come to, to, the, to the front. So there is an oppo a great opportunity because you realize there's a big need. Now, that's one. The government is asking the Buddha Buddha community to register themselves. Now, where? That presents an opportunity for IT guys who are going out to be able to produce products that are going to be able to help. Uh, Buddha Buddha guys register themselves. They want to get the certificate of good conduct. They need to get the driving license on the platform. They need to get um, get their KRA thing pin on. They want to get their NHIF on the platform. 
that presents another opportunity for other business community. Now, the government has said all the Boda Boda community have to be in a circle. What does that present? It presents an opportunity for people who are running circles. So, as a business owner, those are opportunities that you see because of the situation that is in the country. So you don't, you don't sit back and say, oh, this has happened. So eventually, what has happened is change has come. Some people have, 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 have feared the change has stopped operating that business. Others people, other players have come to the market. Other opportunities have, have been presented. Yeah, with those opportunities, hence brings uh, new developments. Now, we have, now, one other thing has happened is that you realize uh, Buddha Buddha uh, riders are now more conscious. They've been harassing motorists. Whenever there's an accident, they will, they will, uh, they will mob the motorist and probably even, even beat them now. There's an opportunity right there for people who are taking photos. You take photos, upload those things, and you put them on social media. Those guys can always be arrested. Because that's, that's what happened. So there's always an opportunity in a problem. Now, look at the presentation now with, with the issue of uh, Ukraine and Russia. Russia has, closed, has uh, is, is having issues with the, they can't export their fuel. They can't they can bring a lot of things in the, into the world. Other countries have got opportunities to do that. So you as a business owner, what do you do? You ride on the, on the, on the challenges. Now there are people like on, 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 on social media who are asking, I'm looking for uranium or other minerals. Who, who else in the world is doing this and that? So a lot of opportunities have come because of the fight in Ukraine and, and Russia. Social, uh, 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 people who are helping or, or churches have an opportunity. Because like now there's one pastor who was saying, because of the, the number of Ukrainians who have left uh, Ukraine, and Ukraine is one of the biggest uh, uh, population of Christians, in the east they are going to infiltrate europe and start spreading the gospel something that nobody would have thought because now they've been they have nothing to hold on to the only thing they have to hold on to is the word of god so they've become the ambassadors who are going to now be able to start inf infiltrating the european community and share the gospel of the gospel so change is permanent look at us now right now in our country we are about to go into a president uh, we are about to go into an election what does that election bring? Change. What do you do as a business owner? Look at that election and see where is the opportunity. Now we have a we have a, an opposition, UDA who are saying they're using a bottom bottom up approach. That means they're, they're working with the locals. That's that's their policies. So where does that where is the opportunity there as a business owner? We have uh, uh, who's the uh, the current. Uh, um, as a mere party, they talk about um, they want to present, put man, more money to the youth. They want to put more money to the women. They want to put, they want to create uh, uh, NHIF uh, for universal. Everybody in the country should be able to have a medical medical scheme. Where does where do you see the opportunity in that change? Because there is opportunity. So you don't you don't um, uh, resist change because you know there is change that is going to come, and it's only normal for you to come. What do you do as a business owner? You have to st step back, sit with your people and see where is the opportunity. Remember every change and, 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 and it, it goes to what is called a J curve. It has, you have the emotions of people are resisting. People when resist, some of your people go off. Yeah, refuse to receive this change. They go back to where they are. The people who embrace change and they ride on the change. So you as a business owner, you must be able to look at every time there is, an, there is a problem. Remember, every business is, de is grown, is developed through problems. Even what you do right now, everything you do as a business owner, you're solving a problem. Whether, it's a, whether you're, you're, you're buying a spare part, it's because somebody's car has, has, has had an issue. So you're going to repair that car. So there's a spare part that is needed. That's a problem. There's an opportunity for a person who has a garage. So the garage owner will, will not fix the, fix the bike. The person who brings spares, imposts spares to solve a problem. So if in the same concept there's a problem in, in a, a situation and that problem presents an opportunity for you, now even with the current political environment and whatever is happening in the world, as a business owner, you have to look at where the opportunity is because there lies your business. 
I think if, if there's one person who, who I've seen who's done extremely well in that area, when Russia and uh, Ukraine were fighting, uh, Elon Musk said he's going to produce, pro produce uh, Wi-Fi for people in Ukraine using a satellite dish. Opportunity. Yeah. So you, you, you need to always look at where the opportunity is, where the business, because there is going to be an opportunity in every problem. Every problem is an opportunity. So look at the opportunity, look at the problem, and see, ask yourself, how do I solve the problem? Like the Buddha Buddha issue is a, it's a big problem in the country. These guys are all over the place. They don't have a database. Government might not even be able to do it properly where they can, how they can do it. And I, even I was sharing on social media, they probably need a, a, blockchain, a, a, a blockchain technology where they can be able to put their data there that is immutable, that nobody can change. They put the logbook, they put the name of the rider, they put the certificate of contact, they put everything else on that platform. And hence, anybody can see that information. And that information can be shared with the police, with uh, the hospital, with the, with the government, with the judiciary. They can have all that in one platform. And blockchain can bring that. That's technology. So don't, don't resist change. Embrace change and look at the opportunity in the change. Great. So once again, my name is Anthony Njiroge Jenga from Business Debut. And the purpose of this program, remember, is to help you grow your business, make a lot of money, and impact the community positively. Thank you and God bless.